Are you thinking about slapping solar panels on your home's roof just like your Tesla driving neighbors? Well, this could be either a really good or a really bad decision if you don't understand why you're doing it and what you're in for. Now, home solar has been around for over a decade now and you would think, you would think, things would get less complicated. But uh, instead, just like with everything in the world, uh, they've gotten, uh, what do you call it, uh, more complicated. And I'm assuming that's why you're watching uh, this video. So let me tell you about the biggest pros and cons of going solar in the US. So unlike that tattoo, you know, which one I'm talking about, you can avoid making another bad long-term decision. So the first pro is savings, uh, but there are two nuances. First one is something that you're going to need a calculator for. That's why I carry one with me at all times, just in case if I have to do, you know, daily solar bill calculations. But nobody can give you a number unless you do your own calculations of how much you're going to save per month. And for that, what you're going to have to do is figure out how much you're going to pay for your solar system. And we'll talk about that in a second. As a matter of fact, my sponsor is a perfect way uh, for you to figure that out. And then you're going to have to figure out how much you're going to be making in monthly payments because you are likely uh, going to be buying the entire thing up front. You probably shouldn't. So much like with car or house, you would be making monthly payments. Now, are those payments going to be that much lower than your monthly electric bill? That's up to you and your calculator to decide. And number two, and somehow not too many people talk about this, is you're going to save over time because you're going to be making exactly the same monthly payment tomorrow and in 10 years for the electricity that your system is producing while your neighbor who's hooked into the grid will be paying more and more and more just uh, because of the inflation alone even if somehow the utility companies decide to stop making as much money on us as possible so let's say in 10 years electricity just like milk will cost probably double and that's what your neighbor will have to pay while you will be paying exactly the same and that's where the majority of your savings will probably come from. Now, the con number one is uh, the sun. Now, unlike uh, in California, where people think that the sun only goes away for the night, in many other parts of the country and the world, the sun may not come up for weeks, which means you won't be making enough energy, and that's a problem. But even if you do live in California or Florida, it's still going to depend on your house. How much space do you have on your roof? What kind of angle it's located, you know, compared to the sun? And also, are there tall trees and buildings around your house that would be blocking the sun? All of that is something that will limit the amount of energy you're going to be able to produce. And you will actually have to do a survey or an estimate uh, for, you know, people who know how to do this to come out and tell you what your limitations are. Back to the pros. And the pro number two is your home value is going to go up. Obviously, you've added something very useful to your house, so the value will go up. On average, uh, about 4%. Uh, that's based on a recent survey by Zillow. But of course, it depends on your house and your location, location and location. So. Obviously, you're probably going to get your money back if you sell your house with your solar system. So you can probably take that money and buy the next house, a brand new solar system again. Now, the next con is something that nobody really talks about, even though it can cost you more than $10,000. And I will tell you what it is in just a second. But before that, let me tell you about my sponsor, because this is perfect. Everything you need to know to shop and get your solar system is right there. It is a one-stop shop and the company is called Energy Pal. So if you're thinking about going solar, but not sure what panels to get, whether or not to get a home battery or how much all of this is going to cost, well, Energy Pal will do all of that for you and you will get a $500 gift card when your installation is complete if you use the link in the description of this video. They even have this EV calculator that will tell you exactly what system to get so it can handle charging your EV all year around. That link is down there as well. All right, let's talk about the con number two, and it is the cost that you're going to have to pay when you have to change your roof. Because if you have a house to put the solar panels on, you most likely have a roof. 
And that roof does need to be changed. And when you change that roof, you're going to have to take the solar panels out, undo the wiring, change the roof, and then put everything back. And that costs pretty much just as much money, if not more, as the original installation costs. And someone's going to have to pay for it, and it's, it's going to be you. So you have to calculate that cost into the ownership, overall ownership cost. Now, when you're installing your system, you need to think about, hey, is it going to be just a few years until I'm going to have to do that? Or will I change my roof now and install uh, the solar system? So when both will need to be upgraded and changed, I can at least save some money and not spend 10, 15,000 extra dollars on redoing the solar system. The pro number three, uh, you're going to love. Everyone's going to love because um, unless you don't pay taxes, because this is a 30 percent tax credit. That's right. You're going to get 30 percent off your system as a federal income tax credit. Now, of course, in order to get a credit, you have to owe at least that much in taxes. But most people who installed uh, solar systems on their houses uh, usually do. Uh, but this is something that you're going to have to uh, talk to your uh, tax consultant uh, to see if you want to do it this year or next year and kind of maybe figure out your uh, income and uh, the tax credit so you can maximize it. But at the end of the day, it's 30 percent. The only exception is it cannot be leased. It has to be purchased. But of course, you can get a loan and make monthly payments. But do not lease it. It's actually a bad idea in the first place. Con number three is I'm just going to label it additional costs. But the two main additional costs are insurance. Obviously, your insurance will probably go up because you have more stuff to insure. And, you know, it is electricity and more things can go wrong. Hopefully not. But it can. An insurance policy will probably go up in property taxes. Now, of course, it depends on your county, on your state. So please check with them or your tax consultant. But at the end of the day, your taxes are based on the value of your home. And of course, if you increase the value of your home uh, and of course the government finds out, uh, you're going to have to pay more taxes. Pro number four is very pro American because it is the independence. You're going to be independent of the damn utility company. So if there is a uh, rate hike or a blackout, you don't care. You make your own electricity. However, you need to know that solar panels is not enough to be independent. You also have to get the home batteries. That's right. The energy that you're gathering, it's great that it's going to your TV and the fridge and your electric car. But at night, uh, you need that electricity to be coming from somewhere, which is not going to be the sun. That electricity is going to be coming from your home battery. So you need to budget for that because they're not cheap. If the pro number four was independence, the con number four is dependence. Yes, you're going to be independent of your utility company, but you are still very much dependent on God or nature or whatever it is that you believe in. Though I'm not sure which one is more uh, unpredictable. However, if it is sunny for five days straight, you're going to make a lot of energy and store even more. However, if it is cloudy and rainy for the same five days, uh, you're not going to make uh, much energy at all. So you're going to have to figure out what happens when your system is not able to make enough energy. Are you going to let your ice cream go bad in your fridge? Or are you going to have to make a side deal with your evil electric company and in those cases have to buy some electricity from them? This is something that is up to you and you're a meteorologist. So please check on that and figure out what your backup plan is. The pro number five is something that I purposely left uh, way down on the list because it is the environment. And let's face it, a lot of you don't really care about it. Uh, most people who get the solar panels get it for the savings, which is I understand. But as a side effect, um, you know, having solar panels and generating solar energy, uh, you know, the side effect is that you let your kids uh, breathe for another generation, which is I hear is nice. Now, I know you probably heard a lot of people say, oh, but, you know, making the solar panels and the batteries uh, pollute so much that it's not worth it. Well, it's only not worth it if you're not going to install them on your roof. 
But if you do, then uh, within one or two years, it's actually going to overtake the negatives. And then for the rest of those panels lives, it's going to do nothing but good for the environment. And again, can't stress enough, the whole kids breathing thing is always good. The con number five is the installation time especially if you're hooking your system up with the utility grid, which a lot of people do choose to do that. Now, it used to be much more popular because you can actually sell your electricity back to the grid. You still can, but now they pay you almost nothing, so it's not really worth it. It's much more valuable to store it in your batteries, but that's a whole different story. However, the installation, even without the hookup to the grid, can take weeks, but usually months. And it's because of the city permits and inspections. And, you know, Bill Maher, who is probably one of the earliest and biggest advocates for the green energy, uh, you know, he's a celebrity and it took him over three years to get his system hooked up. And that's Bill Maher. We have solar, ladies and gentlemen, we have solar. <laughs> now, I know it's an extreme case, uh, not because it's Bill Maher, because it's California. That's where he lives and that's where he had this problem. But just so you know, it takes way longer than you probably have patience for. So you better have some patience. Now, by the way, if you're thinking about installing solar panels on your house, you're probably thinking about buying an electric car. And if that's the case, I actually made another video of pros and cons of buying an electric car and you can check it out right here all right looking forward to all of your comments other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged